Okay, in today's video, we want to go over with POP3, how to scan difficult surface objects. So what am I talking about here? Here we have this little object, it's very transparent. Also here, reflective, we tried scanning that in an earlier video with uh, talking about the distance. For the most part, we caught the line, but the issue was it was reflective in some areas, so that was also difficult. And then this muffler here, as you can see, also very reflective as we've got things shining off of it. So we're gonna go over all those and why they're difficult to scan them and how you can fix that problem. But first of all, let me just show you, give you an example. When we're scanning this, and it's on feature tracking, just notice what happens. Not seeing at all because it's completely transparent. So that's an easy fix. We just need to put some scan, scan, scan spray on there. Also with the lion, we did scan him in the previous video, but let me show you again, and we can switch him over to under scan settings to help us out a little bit. To uh, under object type, we'll change him to dark object. But even when doing that, you're gonna notice on the preview screen that there are still some areas that the point clouds are not being captured. Check it out. It's right there around his tail, you notice that right away. A lot of the little nooks and crannies of the line around his mane you cannot fully see all the contour because it's reflecting the light, moving it up a little higher. Yeah, just a lot of holes. I'll just stop there. You can see that it missed a lot in that go around. But again, that can be fixed. Just need some scan spray. And then when we switch this over to the muffler, let me just change this to marker mode, marker tracking. And we'll still have some difficulty, even with the marker dots on there, it's still gonna be difficult to capture. There's gonna be a lot of holes. So yeah, as you can see, the previous screen, seeing the marker dots, but we're not really getting the full shape with all the point clouds of the muffler whatsoever. All right, transparent, reflective, can all be fixed. Let's just go and get some scanning spray on this and then see what the result's like. Okay, so here we are. We got the muffler sitting out here. I'm just gonna demonstrate that in front of you. We got the scan spray. And notice how there are marker dots already on here. I don't advise to we're going to spray over it and that's fine and everything, but really the best way of doing it ultimately is not having marker dots on your object, spray it and then add them. Because then it's also easier to pull them off. Like right now, they're pretty stuck on there. But if you were to spray first and then put the marker dots on, they come off really easy. So that's another nice thing to keep in mind. But let's first of all, just talk about, demonstrate, the process of spraying, you know, you want to spray it evenly, keep it at a proper distance. And also you see I have a mask on, just because it's a little smelly. You don't necessarily want to breathe, breathing this in. But just like painting, you know, you don't want it to be too uneven. And then just let it go. Wave it back and forth like that. like so. You can see it's sudden, gradually get becoming more solid. So now when we go back and scan it, it's gonna be a world of difference. But as you can see now, the markers, like I mentioned, are covered. So obviously, now would be the better time to add some marker dots if you need to. Okay, we just got done spraying the muffler. It's nice and evenly covered with scanning spray. Now check out the result after having scanning spray on it. Remember at first, you really couldn't, we couldn't find anything. None of the point clouds were captured. A 
really is a world of difference. Okay, and there you have it. So it's just a simple fix. Reflective, transparent items, if the surfaces are like that, just simply spray them up a little bit and you will not have any problems at all. The scanner will catch every detail.